The next thing we're going to want to think about is patient preparation. So uh, I guess the first question will be, are we going to do these procedures with the animal uh, sedated or anaesthetised or, or will local anaesthetic suffice? In most cases, um, probably fine needle aspirate samples can be taken uh, without sedation and probably without local anaesthetic as well, obviously depending on the temperament of the patient. Sometimes you may find that a little bit of local infiltration helps. And also, if you're trying to, to sample something which is uncomfortable, uh, a little bit of light sedation might help. If you're going to do a core tissue biopsy, you either will, will need uh, reasonably heavy sedation or, or potentially also a uh, general anaesthetic as well. One thing that's worth bearing in mind, if you're going to take a fine needle aspirate sample from an animal with a suspected or, or known coagulopathy, or if you're going to take a, a core tissue biopsy from, from any animal, uh, then you need to do a coagulation screen prior to the, to the sampling and you, you obviously need to have the results back from that as well. Uh, there is too much of a, of a risk of hemorrhage otherwise. Um, what you're going to do is to clip a, a fairly small area around about where you think your needle is going to go uh, and then clean the skin with, uh, with normal surgical scrub uh, of some kind uh, and then also a little bit of spirit as well just to sterilise the area. What we don't want to be doing is picking up contamination from the skin. If you're doing a core tissue biopsy, the whole procedure really needs to be done in a sterile process, so uh, as if you would for, for surgery. It's quite important to um, prepare your equipment in advance, uh, make sure you get everything laid out uh, before you, you start the process. Prepare the skin as, as described um, and then uh, potentially think about a cover for your probe as well. If you're doing a core tissue biopsy, again, because the whole lot's in a, uh, being done in a sterile fashion, you'll need some kind of sterile sleeve uh, for, the, for the probe. What it's worth remembering is that we do not want to be using ultrasound gel in this case. Uh, bear in mind, clean your probe end off afterwards because uh, using surgical spirit in contact with the probe isn't, uh, isn't ideal for most probes, so do take care to clean it afterwards. Um, but if you have uh, gel um, in, in the sample, uh, the, the pathologists won't be, uh, won't be very impressed. So, locate the region of interest on the, uh, on the screen using your uh, transducer, keeping your needles well away to start with. If your machine has Doppler, it's worth just popping that on uh, the region of interest and, and between the region of interest and the skin where you think roughly your needle's going to go, just to make sure that you're not uh, put, going to put your needle through a vascular structure. If you don't have Doppler, uh, fine, but um, just take care to make sure you, you, know, you avoid structures that look suspicious. And if you're in doubt as to whether or not something's a blood vessel, uh, you can try rotating from uh, longitudinal section to transverse section and back, and vessels will go from being round in transverse section to sort of long parallel sided anechoic structures in, in longitudinal section.